Hey, what's going on guys? Aldesha here. And today I want to talk about the coins I've collected over the years. I'm not a coin collector, but I do collect um, the coins that I get in change and things like that that aren't um, common or old or um, foreign coins. And it kind of reminded me the other day was I got this euro in change. And I think the cashier thought it was a penny because our pennies are the same color as this euro right here. This is a five cent piece, five cent euro right there. So uh, it made me remember my um, the coins that I do have. And like I said, I'm not a coin collector, but I have filled up this little container over the years. It's about nine inches long. And I was going to go over all the coins in it, but it would be too random because there's too many... Uh, such a variety of coins in there. So I kind of separated them out. And today I'm going to talk about my um, my Asian coins. And I believe I've gotten all these in change here in the United States. And um, so these really stick out. Um, I think back in the day, McDonald's was giving out um, foreign coins as a promotion back in the 80s at one point. So these might be from them. But most of these I got in the um, in regular change. And my first one here is a Singapore 10 cent piece from 1968. Has a uh, seahorse on the back, which is pretty cool. Here's a Philippine quarter centemos, 25 centemos. And Juan Luna is on the front right there. Here's the back. I also have another Philippine 10 cent piece right there. I can't really read his name. Oh, Francisco Batazar. And there's the back of that one right there. And let's see. I have two Korean coins. Korean won, 101. And this is from the year 2000. I also have a Korean one from the year 1974. And this is a Singapore 10 cent piece. And there's the other side. Cool. And these are the two that I think might have been from the McDonald's promotion back in the 80s, but I still kept them. There's a China, Chinese one Fen coin in the back. The only reason I think that is because when McDonald's handed out these coins or um, gave them out in the stores, it was a, uh, a promotion. And I remember all the coins being new and shiny. And there's a Singapore 50 rupiah piece right there. And, oh, it's a, a Komodo dragon on the back right there. So those are my Korean, I'm um, not Korean, my Asian coins. And I didn't think this, I, I got this uh, a couple years ago. I think we picked it up at a mall and an, at, um, at an Asian um, store where they sell like the bonsai plants and things like that and jade Buddhas and things like that. And I think this was like at the register and it was like a dollar or two. And I didn't think it was actually a monetary coin because there's not a date on it. And there's English on there, the dragon on the other side. And this was kind of tough to um, get some history on. Apparently it's a uh, regional silver coin from It says Kwangtung or Guangdong, however you want to say it, province. I didn't know um, the Chinese had regional or provin provincial coins. And here, oops, sorry. And especially on the back here, where it says seven mace and three candarines, I didn't understand what that was. And I, I looked it up, and it was the unit of measurement at the time of 7.3, um, oh, I forget, it was compared to dollar amount, 
of silver um, back when these were in circulation. And I understand there's a lot of uh, fakes out there, but I think this one is real just because of the wear and the um, the wear on the sides like that. So I think this might be a legitimate coin. And some of the prices, I know for I saw that some of the prices for the uh, mint condition coins are just astronomical. But even in poor condition, if this is um, a legitimate coin, it's still like 20, 30, 40 bucks worth of, uh, or in value. So I think I'm gonna go to a coin shop and see if they can give me some more information on this one. Yeah, but for the longest time, I didn't think this was actually a, a coin. I thought it was just like a token or something like that. So I'm glad I did a little research on that one. And uh, that's it for my uh, Asian coins. I'll uh, be back with my European coins here in the next video. And I'll just go from there. But yeah, if you know what this is or you think it's a fake or legitimate, let me know. I'd be interested in finding out. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Later.